Hello everyone! Welcome again to our YouTube channel, Scientista. Please like, subscribe, and share. Our topic for today is about the feedback mechanisms involved in regulating processes in the female reproductive system or the menstrual cycle. We are now on our week 2 for our third quarter in Grade 10 Science. The following are our objectives for today. In our previous lesson, you have learned that hormones play a vital and important role in both male and female reproductive systems. The hormones that are released by the pituitary gland gives the reproductive system to function and do its purpose properly as they control both testes and ovary. Now let us discuss about the feedback mechanisms involved to regulate the process of menstruation. Do you know what is a menstrual cycle? A menstrual cycle is a hormonal process that occurs in a woman's body each month to prepare for a possible pregnancy. Regular menstrual cycles between puberty occurs usually at 12 to 14 years old, and menopause usually occurs between 45 and 55 years old. And these are usually signs that your body is working normally. We have four phases of menstrual cycle. The first phase is the menstruation that occurs during days 1 to 4. Second is the follicular phase that occurs during day 5 to 13. Next is the ovulation phase at day 14 and the luteal phase occurs at day 15 to 28 of the menstrual cycle. Again, the four phases of the menstrual cycle are menstrual phase, follicular phase, ovulation phase, and the luteal phase. Now, let us discuss it one by one. The first phase of the menstrual cycle is the menstrual phase. This is when the menstruation occurs. It usually marks the beginning of your menstrual cycle. Then we have the follicular phase. It is when the pituitary gland starts to release FSH to create follicles which contains an immature egg. As the follicle matures, body releases estrogen which stimulates the uterine lining to thicken to provide the necessary nutrients to a fertilized egg. And then we have the ovulation phase. The ovulation phase starts when rising estrogen level signals the pituitary to release LH. And then we have the luteal phase. If the mature egg is fertilized, the body will produce human chorionic gonadotropin or HCG that will help to keep the uterine lining thick for the fertilized egg to develop into an embryo. If the egg doesn't get fertilized during the ovulation, the corpus luteum will be dissolved into the body and disappear. These are the level of hormones including LH, FSH, estrogen, and progesterone during the menstrual cycle. Now let us discuss the hormones that control the menstrual cycle with negative and positive feedback. We have two types of feedback mechanism, the negative and the positive feedback. In the negative feedback, the increasing levels of hormones feedback directly to the hypothalamus and pituitary gland to decrease the hormone's production. 
While in the positive feedback, the increasing levels of hormones present feedback for the hormone production to increase. In most part of the menstrual cycle, estrogen and progesterone provide negative feedback to the hypothalamus and pituitary gland that keeps their level more or less constant. While during days 12 to 14, estrogen gives positive feedback to the hypothalamus and pituitary gland which results to a rapid increase in the production of estrogen by the ovaries that leads to the ovulation. How the artificially produced estrogen and progesterone in contraceptive pills prevents pregnancy in women who take pills regularly as prescribed. Birth control pills contain man-made forms of two hormones, the estrogen and progestin. They can contain both hormones or progestin only. It prevents a woman's ovary from releasing an egg by changing the levels of the natural hormones the body makes. What process in the menstrual cycle is affected by the pills? Hormones from pills prevent a woman's ovary from releasing an egg during her menstrual cycle, which is called the ovulation. Progestins also make the mucus around a woman's cervix thick and sticky. This helps prevent sperm from entering the uterus. How will the regular intake of pills affect the woman in terms of health? Women who take pills need a regular checkup at least once a year. Their blood pressure should be checked 3 months after they begin to take the pill. Pills will be effective only if the woman takes her pill daily without missing a day. The following are the birth control pills side effects. BCPs or birth control pills may cause many side effects. These include changes in menstrual cycles, no menstrual cycles, or extra bleeding. Another one is nausea, mood changes, worsening of migraines, mostly due to estrogen, and last but not the least, breast tenderness and weight gain. Now, let's test your knowledge. Answer the following questions. Which hormone causes FSH and LH to be released? The correct answer is GnRH or gonadotropin releasing hormone, which is secreted by the hypothalamus. Next question is, which hormone causes the regrowth of the endometrial lining of the uterus? The correct answer is progesterone. Next, which hormone signals ovulation? The answer is LH or luteinizing hormone. Human chorionic gonadotropin is a hormone that helps in the stimulation of the corpus luteum is produced in what phase of the menstrual cycle?
The correct answer is in the luteal phase. Next question is, what layer of the uterus undergoes the greatest change during menstrual cycle? The correct answer is in the endometrium. What will happen to the corpus luteum if fertilization did not happen? The answer is, it will be dissolved. The ovulation phase usually lasts for how many days? The correct answer is, 1. It only happens on the ovulation phase at day 14 of the menstrual cycle. What term is used to describe the process through which the level of one substance influences the level of another substance? The answer is feedback mechanism. These are the following references. And that will be all for today's discussion. Thank you for listening and don't hesitate to ask any questions. Good job everyone! We are now finished with our week 2 for third quarter. God bless and have a nice day!